Good morning, modern steaders. We had a heat wave last night. It's 53 degrees out this morning, y'all. I was just reading the comments from today's video and somebody said, Nevada has already got snow in the mountains. They can keep that. It's way too early for snow. Morning, pigs. Got a new pig bucket to feed them in. It's supposed to be a farm strong bucket. The pigs will put it to the test. <laughs> I need some light in the milking room this morning. Might be a little overkill, but it'll work. Look at that. What's that bright light? Holy moly! Holy moly, Willow! When I bought that new light yesterday, I was buying it for all of us. We can't milk in the dark, guys. We can't wire up the lighting out here until we get the shop insulated. And that's part of the project for today. I find once we start getting into fall time, and the deer start getting into their heat season, rut season. Her milk production goes up and down almost every day. Same thing happened last year. It's getting to be that time of the year where we're gonna be breeding the goats. This is the least amount of milk we've gotten from you, Willow. Thank you. You ready? Good. Come on. Let's go. Good. Okay, let's light a lot of light in having the door open. A little bit of use. Blossom, what are we gonna do with her, huh? What are we gonna do with little P? Huh? Morning, Hope. Good morning, boys. You found the bunk bed and you like it now? I know, I let you out last. Oh, terrible, isn't it? Terrible. Yes, good morning. Do you guys like your copper bolus that you got last night, huh? Did that copper bolus settle down good? Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. One of our chicken is starting to molt her, whoops, her feathers. Let's see if we can see her. She's not very pretty right this minute. Right there. It's time to molt. You're quiet this morning, Moose. We need to prep the barn and get it ready for spray foam insulation. What we're gonna do first, I wanna tape off all of my joints, or the cracks, I should say. We're using masking tape, it's inexpensive, and it's, what we're looking to do here is just to hold it so the spray foam, while it's drying and expanding, can't go through the crack. And then after that, the tape has served its purpose. I'm using spray foam because we got eight feet-ish on these big walls in between the posts. And if we did like rock sole or fiberglass, it, you couldn't do it and it would just wanna fall out unless you put studs in. 
And I'm not doing sheet foam, because it'd be the same price as spray foam, and the spray foam gives you structural value. It actually makes the building stronger, and it's a really nice uh, vapor barrier. We're gonna do two inches in the wall and in the ceiling. That'll give us about R13 value, so it's not gonna be like super insulated, but it's just a workshop. And then afterwards, I gotta put some two by threes here. When we get to that point, I'll explain to you why we're doing that. But this is the way, only way I've thought of being able to insulate it with leaving the post and beam look and giving it a really good insulating value and getting it all sealed off. All right, so we don't gotta worry about there. That's, I don't think we'll have an issue there. Let's work our way down. Yesterday, I just wanted to make sure the mask and tape was gonna stick, so I tried a few joints and they stayed on overnight, so. <clears throat> Once, ouch, we get it insulated, then we can board the inside, and after that, we can start wiring up the workshop. And that'll be just in time, so we can be doing some winter projects, guys. I'm looking forward to that. Leave it in the comments down below, and let me know what some of the first projects we should do in the workshop once it's all done. in my way hoping tomorrow we can finish up the door I want to get this all prepped and ready for insulation so that way we can let the spray foam guys know hey we're ready for you let us know when you're ready and you can come whenever so, it's kind of in a process trying to get different phases of projects and work done for different people to start or like with the wood shed, we had to get that done so we can stack the firewood. It's been a lot of logistical things we're trying to work out. I think since we're right here, now's a good time to start papering the posts. T50 staples. Sure, the best way to do this yet, but we're gonna figure it out together. Like something like that. Ooh, that's what I was afraid of.
Here you go, Mr. Daddy Long Legs. All said and done, it should be like unwrapping a Christmas present <laughs> after it gets insulated. You were almost late for work. Trying to get the cat out. Oh, the cat didn't want to get out. <laughs> yeah, it's this pot's slow, but I figured this kind of right now would be a little slow. Just getting it all figured out. Taping the joints takes no time. <laughs> Be like opening a Christmas present after it's all done insulated. To remove all the brown paper. Oh, yeah. Let's start on this one. Might be an easier one to figure out. I'm just talking to myself. I gotta figure out how to mask.
Reminds me of a cactus right now. A cactus? A cactus? No. I don't think I would be. Tape works good when it works good, but when it's a pain in the butt, it's a pain in the butt. What's that? Yeah, when it starts tearing on you and you can't get it when you where you want it. like the striped look. Makes you think of Christmas. Like I'm back working in a body shop, masking a car up for a paint job. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's that? Do I miss it? No. We're getting there. We're getting there. Is it too early to be at, talking about what's for dinner? No. Uh oh, you got a splinter. Oh, that's right there. Uh oh. Never too early to talk about what's for dinner. Roasted chicken in the oven. Mm. Ooh. I thought this would be like five o'clock. That sounds good. But I don't know what else. What are you doing, Figaro? Checking on us? Do we pass your inspection? Huh? Does it pass your inspection?
Are you good? Yep. Get the long run done. Getting windy. back in this corner. When we put the electrical panel up, I had him put it on an inch and a half thick piece of foam. paper. short on tape.
bummer. So close. So close. Do my buttercup squash. I grew in my garden, my favorite kind. In Instant Pot. And I thought about doing black garlic in my Instant Pot, but it's gonna take like 21 days and I can't be without it for 21 days. So if you have another way to do it, it only takes a little bit of time, comment below. And I wanna see if I can cut this in half. Without out, but we'll see. It is chilly. We need our sweatshirts, huh? Yeah. I'm getting it fast when we come back in to go get eggs. Oh, I guess I gotta change the battery in the fence, eh? So they don't gotta eat off the ground and worry about them eating out of the poop on their poopy ground. I saw you eating some of the fresh clover there, Caleb. Oh, isn't that fresh grass better than the hay? Yeah, I bet it is. I'm not gonna do my squash and spot yet because I think it's only gonna take like 10 minutes, but of course, one more, probably 20 minutes. So probably I have like a hour or more for the chicken and the potatoes to be done. So probably in, I don't know, 40 minutes I'll put this in the Instapot. But for right now, it's ready, ready to go. Hi goats! Eat all your hay? Almost. Thirteen. Thirteen. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. I was gonna say fifteen. Wah, but then I was like, what we've been getting. Thirteen, so I'm gonna go with fifteen. 
y'all. And then I don't show that enough. I love that license plate. So Al and I cheat and we always heat our water up with our electric water heater. Well, I was hoping to get the barn completely prepped and ready for spray foam insulation today. We got about half of it done. There's still one major step we need to take care of and we'll have to do that tomorrow. It went well. It's awesome having Gina here and giving the extra set of hands to help and it's fun working with her. But oh, I hate when you plan on a project going one way and it takes twice as long. It happens quite a bit, I know. but. It's always nice when in your head you plan something that goes according to plan. But when it doesn't, we need to roll the punches and shrug it off and go at it another day. I'm happy the way it came out. It's all wrapped up. I'm covering all the post beams and 2x4s that are running horizontally halfway up the walls with paper because I don't want the spray foam sticking to them. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, after tomorrow's video and then a couple, not tomorrow's videos, the video the next video will come out in Thursday. Tomorrow we are putting out a bonus video of our big surprise. So we're going to have a Wednesday video this week. But And then we've had a lot of people asking how far are we behind on our videos. We're usually about two videos behind. Usually on Wednesday we are still shooting and recording a video. We just I don't edit a video on Wednesday and then we don't shoot videos on Saturday and Sunday so depending on the day we're two to three videos behind this way if we have bad weather or if something happens we're able to continue the flow if we kind of tried to stay up day to day it makes it harder and it makes editing it a lot more stressful so this is the reason we're kind of go that direction I just read a great comment guys and I got to share it with y'all your assumptions are your windows on the world scrub them off every once in a while or the light won't sh come in man that is so true how we perceive something or assume something whether it's how we think somebody's responding to our question or the way we look at something if we just change the way we think about something oh, that can totally change everything thanks for coming along on our journey list guys you're a huge blessing to us in our homestead and I can't wait to share tomorrow's video with you. Oh, we've been keeping this a secret now for, well, we've been keeping it a secret for quite a while, but it's been in the process for two to three weeks now. So I'm so excited to share it with you. We've been planning and dreaming this for years and years. So to see it all coming together is awesome. And it's just gonna add a whole new aspect to the videos, guys. I so excited and this is something that'll keep being able to make the videos awesome oh, thanks for coming along on our journey list guys you're a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres